This man's problem could literally save lives. If there were two planes in the air and they're on a trajectory and they might collide, how would you analyse this and check if they're not going to hit each other? So you're going to have its longitude and its latitude, or in other words, its X and its Y coordinates on a graph. So if you have plane one here and plane two here, first things first, if you didn't have a radar or anything, let's see what this would look like. So for plane one, it says Y equals 2X plus 3. What does that mean on a graph? So it would intersect at three, positive three, and it's gonna go for every one it goes along in the X, it's gonna go up by two. So it will look like this, and same the other way, as long as it cuts through three. That's plane one, done. What about plane two? Well, it's gonna cut through at 12 up here, and it's gonna be going for every one it goes along in the X, it's gonna go down by one in the X. So it would look something like this. And it would go the same again, backwards. And that's known as its gradient, which is minus one and two, and its y-intercept, which is three and 12. Now, if we wanted to know where they intersect each other, which would be in the next part of this video, we would have to solve these two simultaneously, which you will typically see in a GCC paper as one of your harder questions worth five marks towards the end of the paper. Join along for part two to see how this is done.